is a bit controversial. So I'm in the Cotswolds. Put my foot down. Nah. And I love it. Today, we've got our hands on the Audi Q4 e-tron. This is the 40 model. It's in Aurora Violet. More on that in a moment. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the three best features about this car. We're gonna jump in it, take it for a drive. But first, let's talk about the exterior appearance. I rather like this giant grill and you can spec that how you see fit. It is a bit controversial. Also, these lights are great. I'll be talking a little bit more about these in the video, but let's come back down a little bit of the car. We've got some cool little creases in here. Nice design feature. And then an e-tron branding there embossed in the back. Let's have a look at the boot. Plenty of space. We've got 520 liters. We'll chat more about that in the video. Anyway, enough chat. Let's jump in the driver's seat and see what this thing's like. So I'm inside the Audi Q4 e-tron. I've been waiting ages to get inside this car. Now this starts from around 40K. You get the 35, the 40 and the 50. This is the 40 and this has got an 82 kilowatt battery. And in the 35, you have a 55 kilowatt and in the 50, you have an 82 kilowatt battery as well. Okay, so first impressions jumping into the Q4. Straight away, the quality of the materials. The steering wheel is hexagonal, feels nice, especially the points in the corners of your hand. But everything's really plush. I'm an Audi fan, you may know already. So I'm used to the infotainment. And this one's slightly angled towards the driver. And I just think it's great, it feels quality. The ride height is good. You've got a little lever you can pump up and down here. Great visibility over the front of the bonnet. I am having to concentrate because I'm in the Cotswolds and these roads are super tight. There are potholes, there's bumps, but the Q4 is just lapping it up, eating those undulations in the road. You've got 216 miles of range. The handling is, is pretty good. It does everything it needs to do. The suspension's good. I'm on some really tight country roads at the moment and I'm having to dodge bins. It's obviously bin day. I've got another giant bin lorry here, but so far it's really good and the quality of materials inside is impeccable. So this Q4 e-tron 40 has 316 miles of range. It's got an 82 kilowatt battery and 204 brake horsepower. The handling is great. It does everything it needs to. At the moment, I'm on some twisty country roads. I've just had to dodge a couple of bins and bin lorry as well. Suspension feels good. Steering's nice and light. And so far, I'm really impressed with this Q4. So the Q4 is built off of the same MEB platform as the ID4, the VW ID4. The boot space is a little bit smaller by 23 liters. You've got 520 liters of boot space. And we looked at Skoda Enyaq the other day and that's got 585 liters. So just something to think about if you're looking for an electric EV with space. So I've got Adam with me in the back of this Q4. Adam, tell me about the rear seats. How do they feel? So I'm in the back of the uh, Q4 e-tron and filming right now. Just want to give you an idea of the rear space. And I've actually got plenty of leg room. Let me just throw you down there. And we've got actually quite a bit. I'm actually more than I expected. I'm quite impressed with that. So yeah, thumbs up for the rear space. Okay, it's not a performance car, this Q4, but it is a non-electric car. So let's give it a little bit of a boost. Put my foot down, see what we've got. Nah. Okay, yeah, it's not a performance car. It's very gradual on the pull, but out of junctions, you will have no worries in this Q4. But yeah, if you want that feel of that dramatic pull, you'd probably be looking to go to something a little bit more with performance like a Tesla Model 3. Number one, if you click back the gear shifter, which is very nice by the way, back to B, which means battery, you can recuperate up to 145 kilowatts, which means you don't even have to use the brake, you can just ride the car using the accelerator. However, if you are gonna to come to a complete stop, you will have to use the brake. But what that does, it puts the car into harvesting mode if you're feeling super tight. Number two, and quite possibly my favorite feature, you can change 
your headlights. They're called digital light signatures. Check this out. Light design is like that at the moment. Then you can have number two, number three. Oh, that looks menacing. Or number four. They look fantastic. I love that you can customize your own lights. Number three has to be the user interface. Everything is just so accessible and easy to use. For example, they've kept the temperature controls separate from the infotainment so they're easy to operate. And they've thrown in a little bit of tech as well, like this iPod wheel, which is touch sensitive, where you can run your hand up and down. That is a bit controversial because I know some people don't like that, but I'm a techie guy and I love it. The interior is fabulous. So that has been the Audi Q4 e-tron. I've told you the three best features about this car. And I think it's pretty cool. But what I want to know is, what do you think about the Audi Q4 e-tron? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, throw me a like, get subbed, and I'll see you on the next one.